leaving Labor is a bit like leaving the Hotel California. You never truly leave. It's in your DNA. And I think it's incredibly convenient that these two former Labor cabinet ministers, whose political careers are effectively over, would do a service to the Labor Party by quitting and forming, forming Family First. The resurrection of Family First, has it come back from the dead? Well, that's what we're hearing in the newspapers today in the Australian and the Advertiser and commentators in the media claiming that Family First is back. Now, I have tweeted overnight, I believe this should be received, this this news with the same sort of scepticism that the Roman authorities had in biblical times about whether Jesus had been resurrected. They were worried at that time that people would uh, dust off and claim that uh, he was back to build their reputation. But this claim that Family First is back from the dead. I think it's false. Uh, Look, these guys, the former ministers for the Labor Party, uh, Jack Snelling, who was a deputy premier at one stage and touted as a future Labor leader, and Tom Kenyon, who was a cabinet minister for state Labor in South Australia. Both of them have been linked with this new party. I believe it's true. I've been receiving calls on background about this information, and I think it is going ahead that they are going to start a party called Family First. But when I say it's dead, what I'm saying is it's not the old Family First and all the members and people that were involved in it. And as a matter of self-disclosure, I was a candidate for Family First in 2006 and very involved in it and became Chief of Staff to Senator Bob Day at one point. I remember Family First had a senator in the form of Steve Fielding in the federal parliament before Senator Day came along. And I have interviewed Senator Bob Day earlier today about this development because he's trying to run the Australian Family Party in South Australia and federally. He claimed in the interview that Tom Kenyon, one of those two cabinet former cabinet ministers, was going to run for his party in the seat of Newland at the next state election. So I think there's a lot more to this story than people realise. I was very intimately involved in Family First. When it died, it was an incredibly sad movement moment for me, one of the saddest moments in my life because I was very involved in what it stood for and what it was trying to achieve in politics as a middle of the road party that was putting families first in the political realm when so often politicians want to represent themselves and get themselves elected. And that's what I think this Family First incarnation is all about. It's not back alive again. It's more like a ghost uh, of what Family First was. But that ghost will appear on ballot papers in South Australia, and that will help the Labor Party win seats. Now, Jack Snelling and Tom Kenyon have reportedly said they're going to quit the Labor Party uh, and going to start this new party. But as Bob Day has said to me in his interview, which I'll put up on the Faux News 24 podcast channel in full... Uh, He said that leaving Labor is a bit like leaving the Hotel California. You never truly leave. It's in your DNA. And I think it's incredibly convenient that these two former Labor cabinet ministers, whose political careers are effectively over would do a service to the Labor Party by quitting and forming Family First. Now, they'll run candidates in seats where Family First used to get 8 to 10% in these state seats. That'll be very helpful preferencing for Labor. Remember, in the seat of Mawson, uh, in a previous state election, they ran fake Family First volunteers with T-shirts saying, put your Family First to direct Labor preferences to help them win that seat. Now, that was never something that was brought to account when it came to the actual uh, people who were involved in that scam. Well, this time round, there is no Family First Party, so Labor can quite conveniently run with that name uh, as a side party to harvest preferences and get themselves over the line in seats uh, that they're wanting to win, or maybe in the upper house where they're hoping to win the final seat on the ballot paper. It all just looks too politically convenient to me, especially when you consider this is only happening eight months out from a state election. If these gentlemen were so concerned, these former cabinet ministers, that the Labor Party had taken leave of its principles when it came to religious freedom and standing for pro-life causes, they would have been going about this uh, one or two years ago and getting organised and registered as a party, just like Bob Day has with the Australian Family Party. Uh, They're going to have a really hard time doing the legwork to get this party up and running in time for the state election. And I'm calling it now that it's just a front. It's just a sham to help Labor get over the line in the next state election.